On the airwaves of D93, Samantha and Phil Telling our story week after week Spreading love and joy for all to see oh, yeah. We'll keep on dancing, we'll keep on singing Our hearts are open, our love is bringing oh, 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 oh. Hello and welcome to D93 News presented by Idaho Farm Bureau well, daylight savings time came to an end this month, mm -hmm. and there's a silver lining to the recent time change. You know, uh, positivity, <laughs> right? You can find silver lining in everything. The silver lining here is the earlier sunset, which means you have more time to look at the stars. Well, Bonneville Online High School has a new tool to help them look at the galaxy. Yeah, so this is through a really cool partnership with uh, Boise State University and NASA. And it's a grant program they call uh, Telescopes for Teachers. And so Boise State wrote a grant and they were able to get somewhere between 40 and 50 of these telescopes into the hands of Idaho teachers. And just to help them uh, give their students access to be able to uh, look at the stars and do some cool observations. What's this mean for your students at uh, Bonneville Online? Well, what I think it, it does is helps them see some of the possibilities and helps them make some of the connections with uh, their science courses that they're taking through us. Uh, astronomy is a popular course that our science department offers. And so with this, we're able to bring in some real world application with uh, astronomy. I also uh, teach computer science courses. So I like to relate it back a little bit to the type of programming that it takes to uh, make a piece of technology like this work and and how that um, how you know some of the the sensors and things are able to uh, bring space uh, to where we can see it on our on our devices really cool to see that they're hoping to have two big stargazing events each year one in the spring and one in the fall now this next story might just be the longest running event we've covered in our nearly 10 years of d93 news is the annual choir clinic invitational at rocky mountain middle school miss beauty Cofer tells us it's been quite a struggle getting this going again after covid but they are just giving it their all. They would sure love your appreciation and support at their concert on Friday at 530 in the Rocky Mountain Middle School Auditorium. It's a great tradition. Uh, they do such a great job. This year's clinic and concert will be conducted by a special guest professor from BYU-Idaho. And now it's time for our ERMAC Health Minute presented by Eastern Idaho Regional Medical Center. So a common question that uh, parents will present to a pediatrician's office for is uh, that their child's snot has turned green um, or their mucus has turned green. And uh, there's a lot of concerns that that means infection. Generally, that is the case. Uh, when there is uh, an infection there, then uh, the mucus will often turn green. That green color is actually the result of the body producing antibodies and white blood cells, and so it's the body's natural response to an infection, but does not signify or mean that it's more viral or bacterial. So usually when you start with a cold, your mucus will be clear and runny. As the cold progresses, it will get more thick and often turn a whitish and then a yellow or green color as you get towards the end. And that's because your body has started to fight off the cold. So having that green or yellow mucus is actually a good sign that your body is starting to fight off the illness. Now you can have a sinus infection or bacterial infection and that will produce the green or yellow uh, mucus. Um, that uh, is more dependent on the time. So we usually say if you've had a cold for over a week and a half to two weeks and it's getting worse or not improving after two weeks, that's more an indication of having a bacterial sinus infection versus the color of the mucus. It's so not like you always say to me, when in doubt, have a doctor check it out. <laughs> <laughs> so we have Hillcrest uh, football. They win, they go to the state championship, uh, hosting uh, Lakeland. Uh, huge, huge turnout for the election. We really appreciate everybody who came out. Absolutely. What a great historic turnout for our election. We are mm -hmm. so excited to see the support from our patrons and from our parents and from our students. It really makes a difference. Sure does. Well, that's going to do it for us. We'll see you next time on D93 News.